Okay, I'm currently fitting one of these little 6mm magnets to the back of the shaft on the servo motor, well, stepper motor, sorry, to make it into a servo or use a, a magnetic encoder on the back of it. Although it's not ultra critical, it's better if it is central, and trying to get it anywhere near central is quite difficult because they tend to pull to the side very strongly or jump onto edge or do all sorts of annoying things when you're trying to fit them. Uh, I found a simple way to keep it centred. The hole in the back of the stepper there is near enough exactly 9mm. 8.9 something, you know, 8.96, when we get it, it's near enough 9mm. The magnet's 6, so it needs 1.5mm all the way around to hold it centre. Uh, and I've got some bits of a pneumatic tube that 10mm but out, out sorry, sorry, 10 mil outside diameter and 7 mil bore, it's one and a half mil wall thickness. It's too big, but if you cut it at 90 degrees, then 45 degrees, and to make and then cut alternate pieces out to make fingers, that gives a flexible reducer that takes the 9 mil down to 6 mil. That'll wedge in there, and the centre of that should be exactly 6 mil. Uh, I want to roughen up the end of that shaft slightly. I mean, I've already done it a little bit, but I'll just do it again. Just to make sure the glue sticks. I'm just using a, a filing. Just get enough angle on that to make sure it is actually cutting. And scratch that. Then for the magnet, I'm going to do it on a piece of sandpaper, not a file, because I don't want the, metal, the magnetic metal shavings on it. So I've just got a piece of, piece of sandpaper and it's got a very, very light quick rub. It's just basically to ensure there's no muck on it. I'm going to show that, but it's just a piece of coarse sandpaper. Oh, wet and dry type material. You can see that's now got a nice matte pattern on it. Now, I've already done one of these. So somewhere on here I have, or did have. Of course, there I want it. I can't find it. Oh, well, do another one. Uh, screw, just a, just a, it's just a stainless steel screw, it's not particularly magnetic, it doesn't matter if it is really. A bit of uh, blue tack type stuff, this is actually Watchmaker's Ruddy Co, but same thing basically, just different different uh, oils in it so it doesn't affect uh, watch parts, or leave the wrong type of residue on it. Just a little blob of that on the end of the screw, so I can then pick the magnet up with it. Make sure it's stuck down well, and then I just want to mould it in a bit more so it doesn't spread too much when I put it down the hole. And the I'll make sure it's all the way on there so it doesn't squidge it out too much. And I'm trying to move the excess back a bit more than I need on there. But they basically, I don't want it to clog up in the in the six mil hole. But I do want it to be able to push and stay square, so I'll do. So that's now got that little magnet with the sanded end outwards on there. So in a little bit of super glue, if I can get that stuff open, there we go. And the nozzle's not clogged up. Now I'm going to put that on a bit of plastic. Rather than trying to put a drop straight on it with a big bottle, I'll put a drop on a bit of plastic. Then use a bit of wire to transfer that to the magnet. I think put a bit of wire up there. Now I want a bit of that, actually I want a bit on the end of the shaft. It's a little bit much. There's a, a recess around it, the shaft sticks out more than the bearing. So I'm just put a little trace of oil of uh, super glue there, oil, super glue, and then a good coat on there. Make sure it's distributed all over the edges where it's sanded more and rougher. Put that back in. And hopefully, if this works as well as it did last time, I should now just sort of push that square down there. And at that, it should be in very solid contact with the end of the shaft. Sounds like it is. So now that's just got to be left for a minute or two for the super glue to hold so I can pull things out. 
I'm not actually bothered filming you. Hopefully. And I'm going to hold it down so the weight's on the screw and try and pull that plastic out. Because I don't want to risk the magnet being stuck to the plastic. Got it. So now the only thing holding the screw is that trace of uh, sticky stuff. And that's it. Nicely centred. If you want for the bits on it, you could probably hardly tell it was turning. It's certainly not moving off centre by any significant amount. So that's that bit done.